upcycling bottles into glassware. This video supplement to the free how-to guide explains how to use the DB100 bandsaw with a diamond blade to cut down your bottles. You're starting with a marked bottle. You want to make sure when you pick your cutting direction that you're able to clear the throat of the machine. I'm going to turn on the water drip and set it to a nice steady drip down the blade. And then we're going to turn our machine on and up to cutting speed. It's important to always wear safety goggles or glasses when sawing on the saw. We're going to start by gently taking the bottle and lightly pushing it into the blade. You want to use light pressure and let the blade do the sawing. Using excessive force or pushing the bottle into the blade does not make it cut any faster and can actually harm the blade. You want to make sure to push evenly into the blade to keep your cut straight. You also want to avoid twisting or turning the cut, making the blade flex. And keep everything nice and straight. As you come through the bottle, you can rotate it away from you, bringing the cut up around to the top. It might make it easier to see as it exits the bottle. You can increase the coolant rate if you notice a white powder forming. As you saw, the diamond blade needs to stay properly lubricated while cutting. As we come to the end of the cut, you want to really ease up on the pressure. You want the saw to pull the blade through. Once again, a little rotation can help make that a nice, even, clean exit from the bottle. And there we are. A nice, even cut. One of the advantages of using the diamond bladed bandsaw to cut bottles is you are able to cut bottles that are square, rectangular, odd shaped, textured. So again, we've got our saw set up, a drip rate going. We're going to start cutting this square bottle by lining it up and making sure that we gently push into the blade. We're cutting through one of the thickest parts of the bottle initially. We want to make sure that we're letting the blade do the work and let it get established in that cut. If it seems to be cutting slow, you can increase the blade speed. Just make sure that your coolant rate is able to keep the blade properly lubricated. Once you're through the side, you want to make sure you can continually keep feeding the bottle straight into the blade. evenly so that we don't twist on the blade. If you see a white powder develop, increase, increase that coolant rate. And as we come to the end of the cut, again we're going through one of the thickest parts of the bottle. We want to push lightly. Let the saw draw it through, nice and even, so that we get a nice, clean cut and exit from the bottle. 
Wishing too hard can cause it to break out early, leaving you with an uneven edge. You can see we're taking our time as we come to the final side of the bottle. And there we are. Another advantage of using the bandsaw over a bottle cutter is you can saw on an angle, cut through necks, or cut through the shoulder part of the bottle. Here we've got the bandsaw set up and we're going to be cutting through the shoulder of the bottle just below where the neck comes in. We want to make sure that our bottle is straight and level as you cut. Start slow. Once you're into the bottle, continue to use light pressure to feed it straight into the blade, making sure once again you do not twist or torque on the blade. Again, it can sometimes be easier to rotate that bottle as the blade is cutting to bring the cut end up where you can see. It's good to support the next side. As you come through, again, light pressure. Let the blade do the work so that you get a nice, even, straight cut. Like that. This time we're gonna cut on an angle. I'm gonna level off the bottle. Come into the blade and then follow our mark across the edge. Realize that the steeper the angle, the more glass you're cutting through initially and as you come out of the cut. Hold the bottle level and keep your cut straight as you come through. This time you don't want to rotate because you're making an angled cut.